Once there was a charitable and holy man. He lived in a fine house. His door was always open to the poor, and he considered himself a good Christian. One day, in the bleak midwinter, he received a letter. Hmm, <coughs> what's this? A letter? Dear friend, I have been observing your goodness for some time, and as tonight, night, as, as reward, I will come and visit you. Be ready for me, and you in turn will be welcome in my father's house on so high. Yours sincerely, Jesus of Nazareth. Heavens, I best make ready. The man laid out his finest linen, prepared a lavish feast, and made up a bed in the spare room. At seven o'clock exactly came a knock at his door. Ah, oh, that will be Jesus. Help me, sir. I am an old bent woman, old and bent, and I need a place to rest my old bent body. Uh, look, normally I would welcome in even the oldest and bentest old bent woman, but thing is, I'm expecting a very important guest. If it was any other night, you know, I'm really sorry. Oh. And the man returned to his warm fire, greatly troubled. Then at seven thirty. Ah, the holy lamb at last. Oh, hello, Jesus. Help oh. me, help me. I am an old, bald man, and my hairless head affords little protection against this freezing night. But I'm sorry. Normally, you'd be welcome in my home despite your sad hairlessness, and I would offer you milk and a free choice from my excellent selection of wigs, which I keep for such occasions as this. But tonight, I'm expecting a special guest, and sheer practicality dictates that numbers must be limited. But listen, do come back tomorrow, right? And I'll see what I can do. And with that, he shut the door in the bald man's shivering face. And so it went on. Hello, we are three plague victims Hello. with full-blown bubonic plague on the point of death. Can we spend our final painful hours Hello. by your fire? I'm sorry. Hello, um, I'm a menstruating woman and I've been shunned by my village due to religious laws. And this is my friend Simon, who has a nasty goiter. Hello there. Um, could you take us in for the night? I'd like to, but I can't. Hello there, we're the Eczema Sufferer Society. Hello. And our cart has broken down outside. The cold weather has aggravated our sores slightly, and uh, so could we come in and bathe in a later memorial? It's out of my hands. Help me, please. I am John Merrick, the Elephant Man. And I'd love to help, but... Finally, at 11 p.m. At last, this must be the enchanted saviour prince. But alack, outside in the cold stood a pair of Siamese twins joined at the eye. A short, fat man. Hello. A Mexican boy with a hairy face. Hey, me. A transsexual man halfway through a course of hormone treatment. Hello. An old, bent woman and an old, bald man. Both more bent and bald than their predecessors. Help us! Help us! And TV's David Badil. Hello, I'm David Badil. Said David Badil, evidently the spokesman for this tragic group. From the Mary Whitehouse experience. And stab in the dark. Yeah, and these are my unfortunate friends. We are cold and hungry. Please let us in. David, I'm sorry. Look, under normal circumstances, you know, you could all come in and feast on what a merry time we'd have, right? But tonight I'm booked up, oh. expecting a visitor of splendor, and I just cannot allow you to enter. Oh, please. No, David. Oh. And with that, David Badil led his world-weary companions off into the driving snow. The man waited until 11.45, but the King of Heaven did not come. Sad that he had been unable to help his needy visitors, he fell into a restless and fitful sleep, confused and worried about Jesus' delay. The man's fitful sleep was filled with nightmares of what could have befallen Yezu. In the morning time came a knock. Who can that be at this hour? Jesus! Yes. You may know me by my wounds. What happened to you? You know, I was worried. I went to all this trouble for you and you never came. No, but I did come. Oh, you didn't come. I was in all night. Ah, but I did. Huh? You did not recognize me when I called. Remember the old bent woman? That was me. Ah. What? And the bald man, that was me also. What, and the elephant man? Yes. What, and the Mexican hairy-faced boy in the Exmoor Society? Yes. All me. What, and the bolder and benter old people? Yes. I was all of them. And David Badil? No, that was actually David Badil, helping me, 
He does a lot of work with the disenfranchised. Well, what was the point of all that? Ah, do you not see? No, I don't see, actually. Ah. And look, all I can see, right, is for some reason you, you've deliberately wasted an evening of my time. Ah, my poor fool. Have you learned nothing? Yeah, I have. I have learned something, actually. What I've learned about you is that you, you're sick. You think it's funny to dress up as, like, diseased, ill people and mess other people around. No. Ah. No, stop going, ah. ah. No, not ah. ah. No, no. No, I, un I understand what you, you think. You know, you think you're making me like a hypocrite, ah. right? No, listen, not ah. And the fact is that I have actually helped the poor a lot in the past, right? You know, so why not have a go at someone who hasn't even helped them at all? Ah. No, not ah. No. And the fact is, I also, I bought a load of food and stuff for you, right? Because you said that you would come round to eat it. Not in disguise or anything. You. Ah. Shut up with your ah. Because all that food is wasted now because of you, right? And, you know, I could have given that food to the poor or something. Ah, yes. But do you see? No, listen, do you see? You. Ah. Ow! Yeah, right, there'll be more than that for you oh. if you ever come round here again. More than that slap, all right? Do you understand? Yeah. What did you say? I can't hear you, Jesus. What did you say? Yeah, I said yes. Twat. And so Jesus went on his way, slightly ashamed, but secretly pleased with his night's mischief and planning what holy trick he would be playing on some unsuspecting Christian who was trying hard to live a good life.